Brachial plexus anatomy is a very difficult task. I'm going to try to make it easy for all of us. People used rubber Turner drinks called beer. Robert at the roots, Turner at the trunks, drinks at the divisions, cold at the cord, and beer at the branches. The brachial plexus is like a tree that got roots, trunks, and divisions. We start with the basics. You got roots, five roots. It starts from C5 to T1. So it is C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. The roots line the interval between the scalenus anterior and the scalenus medius. After the roots, you find the trunks, the upper trunk, the middle trunk, and the lower trunk. Three trunks, they pass through the posterior triangle of the neck. So five roots, they give you three trunks. Each of the three trunks divide into anterior and posterior division. This division pass behind the clavicle. So three trunks will give you six divisions. Five roots, three trunks, six divisions. Some of these divisions join to give you cords. The posterior cord, the lateral cord, and the medial cord. These cords are in the axilla. So five roots, three trunks, six divisions, and three cords. Now you end with the branches. The brachial plexus is divided into parts, supraclavicular and infraclavicular. They use the clavicle as a marker. Anything above the clavicle will be supraclavicular. Anything below the clavicle will be infraclavicular. So why did they divide it like that? Because the supraclavicular injuries have bad prognosis. It can be avulsion from the root. And the infraclavicular injuries will have a better prognosis.